Increased screen time has been one of the most important side effects of COVID lockdowns. So is it good or bad? While Zoom calls and other forms of digital communication did help to foster and maintain relationships and sometimes even arrange for COVID resources, it has also led to a lot of side effects. The increased screen time also impacts mental health. Increased screen time may lead to depression or anxiety. All the hours we spend in front of screens can negatively impact on mental and emotional state as a whole. Experts say that we don't screen time from more depression or anxiety, but the emotions to read the ability of others also reduces. It also overloads your senses, reduces your ability to focus, messes with your attention span, and sometimes creates a vicious comparison trap. The result is declining mental and emotional health. Screens can also be a gateway to tuning out and shutting off. Not only can we escape through mindless games, but we can also curate our social media feeds so that the only opinions and lifestyles we see are the ones that look like our own. The comparison trap is real. Instead of living our own lives, we can become stuck living vicariously to somebody else's. Sometimes this also happens. We berate ourselves for not living life as well as somebody else. Sometimes that someone else is someone we don't even know. Looking at screens all day can hurt your body. Hans, with everyone, it has happened once again that the phone fell on our face while we were holding it above our faces. Besides that, there are memes about bad postures while we are all working from home. Apart from this, too much screen time can hurt your body physically. It can also lead to vision problems, substantial back and neck pain from bending too constantly to look at a device, and hearing loss from wearing headphones with a device with loud sound, just to name a few. What you can do about this is take breaks from sitting to stand, walk around or stretch, make sure your couch, chair or sitting position provides ample back support. Plus, when looking at a screen or device, try to keep it closer to eye level and straight ahead. Lack of good night's sleep. After Suna Augur that experts recommend keeping your gadgets away before sleep time. The reason? Gadgets emit blue light that interferes with your internal clock and confuses the body in terms of when to sleep and when to stay awake. Such light also decreases the amount of melatonin the body produces, making it harder to benefit from sleep-related hormones in the evening. Health risks. Insufficient sleep is not only associated with increased screen time, but also leads to weight gain. This is a cycle. Spending a great deal of time in front of a screen, no matter what the type, promotes sitting. When you're constantly sitting and distracted by a device, it's easy to mindlessly eat or fail to make healthy food and drink choices. Heart health is impacted by the inactivity related to screen time too. This includes leading to higher risk of conditions like diabetes or symptoms such as increased blood pressure or cholesterol and dangerous blood sugar levels. Some researchers even claim that watching too much television impacts how long you live. Do you often feel disoriented when not using a device and when you're out by yourself or with people? This is also a side effect of increased screen time. It affects your abilities to plan, prioritize, manage impulses, and develop compassion for others as well as the ability to communicate. Aapke cognitive abilities bhi kafi kam ho jate hai. In post-COVID world, avoiding screen time is almost impossible. A lot of workplaces are still in hybrid mode of working. So what can you do? Set clear boundaries with screens to avoid developing detrimental habits. The goal isn't to avoid screen time entirely as that's probably not even realistic in modern life. However, if you're going to use a device, be mindful and take mini breaks. Develop a workout routine to keep your body strong and stick with it. Obviously, a workout se ghanto ke screen time ka effects kam nahi hoga. But maintaining a regular practice of physical movement helps give your body a break. To sleep more soundly, keep screens out of the bedroom. Additionally, try to avoid looking at them for at least an hour before you climb into bed. If you have to use an electronic device, turn down the brightness on your screen or give blue light blocking glasses a try. Meditation, which can help in many ways. It can help with the sense of disorientedness that you experience or also help you to get a more restful sleep. Cat memes, dog videos, comedy shows and reels make us all laugh and keep us entertained. The ability to talk to a friend with a tap and being able to see them can make you feel connected. But the truth is, looking at screens for several hours per day can actually worsen a person's mood. The key is balance, which though I'm talking about with ease, may not be very easy to maintain. After all, we often have to look at screens as part of our jobs. But we can try it, and every small step counts. Be it a five-minute break every hour, or reducing your TV or Netflix time by an hour can also go a long way in achieving that balance. If you liked this episode of Mind Over Matter, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And follow our YouTube channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And follow our social media handles. Thank you.